Hello and welcome back to another episode of Saving Your Disaster Campaign. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing our joint Saving Your Disaster Campaign with Tabcat who has just finished a flawless second mission as he told me and even uh, secured a landed UFO mission as uh, the next one. Let's see what he prepared for us. Oh, he was kind. He had given us a very nice variety team moderate difficulty and we got uh, a yeah we got even good equipment plus a reaper oh my gosh tapcat yours you're nice um, I almost feel bad for can we, for wanting to hand you maybe a more mixed team in the next run but yeah we got eight balls here uh, t2 long raven jester and crash and they are now going to join that mission we can not do anything but capture that uh, entire ufo and hopefully get a few resources landed ufos are great for elarium and alloys early on in the game so let's go all right we landed gosh it is good to be back to xcom 2 i was playing phoenix point for quite a time now so this will be a welcome change and of course we're running into a quite sizable pack mutant stun lancer plus a purifier okay how about how about we are starting to engage them on our terms crash is moving in We do have our Grenadier, who is also moving in. Jester. I don't like the half cover. Let's take some more full cover over here. Very good. Jester has the back line. An eight ball needs good uh, aiming angles. Now, one trick with these uh, downed UFO missions is they won't start the timer until you've actually engaged with the first pack. Since we're so close to them, them being uh, the enemies, but also the UFO, I would suggest that we're first of all scouting if there's a second pack and then we're actually starting to move up. The answer towards whether or not it, there is a, another pack seems to be no for now. Nothing over here as well. Moving. I want to make sure that our follow-up, it's almost like uh, playing snooker. You don't only want to think about the current turn, but you also want to th uh, think one turn ahead. Rolling. Take half cover instead of full cover because I want a faster movement towards the next steps. All right, Overwatch wherever possible. Okay, so here's a little trick. These guys are ultra sturdy, and I wonder if we should just use the good old double whammy, which is Claymore into an actual explosion. And the reason why I would want to do that is I think I think that <clears throat> we want to alpha strike them completely and I'm willing to give up both of my explosives for that a little bit more overwatch hmm, we could hit with an explosive here It's a bit risky because we would be standing in the open, but it would mean we still have the Grenadier explosive. Same damage, frag grenade uh, plus the Claymore. Okay. 
We're going to Overwatch also here, so it's double Overwatch and double Whammy. Fantastic. Purifier exploded and killed the stun lance on top. Now, since we were still in concealment, uh, we had no missed chances from cover. Don't want to go into the open, that would be a bit too reckless for my liking. Instead, we're moving up and overwatching. The explosion certainly was heard somewhere in the proximity. You need to get inside that ship and shut down the signal before they send their whole fleet after us. Okay, well, we can already see a few enemies. Let's grab the loot. This campaign can definitely use all the loot that it can get. And move as far as possible to the actual target. As you order, Commander. Moving in. Closing the door. And I need a space where there's a high likelihood that we're not going to be spotted out. Over here seems fine for now. Good. Now, since we have opened, the timer is really on us to deliver. And that's why I am charging in. Next turn, I want to engage. These guys definitely haven't heard the explosion, elsewise they wouldn't be so calm. They're not even in yellow alert yet. And then moving away means there is a third pack, because there's always one pack between you and uh, the target. Just double checking, nothing here. I am at your service. Okay, well we could clear out the distress beacon. Moving on target location. Absolutely. Heading there now. Hmm. Hmm. It's a tempting offer. Might want to do that next turn. We're just going to overwatch for now. The enemies seem to be moving away. Well, that would be great. But yeah, we did not get it. However, we killed the timer. Out the alien distress signal. Looks like the skies are quiet. We unfortunately got revealed in the process, but for me that is a trait that I was definitely willing to take. No one here. And no one here either. That's good because it means I will reposition. we can reposition here. These guys likely moved out, on which means location. we are in return repositioning. And Crash would be our frontliner. I want to move her too deep. In. But we're preparing an overwatch trap. Well, and that paid out because we immediately found uh, the second pack. Ha! 
how could you miss that shot on a close distance? Good. My biggest concern is already eliminated, which was the Mac. Got a combat protocol here, so theoretically could take care of these guys. Move a teamwork over. Moving to designated position. And now we do have the advantage for not using the grenade earlier. It's not going to completely remove the tree, but it will help us. Well, I was hoping to make it half cover. Unfortunately, as so often in XCOM, hope gets you nowhere. Uh, not sure. I think... I think... This is the last pack. Okay, well, that was too closey. Uh, that's the little oopsies uh, that happen when you have played Phoenix Point for a while. You don't remember the explosion radi uh, radii. Moving up, we definitely need some healing. And there was or is a third pack. I go where you tell me. We don't need to sweat it. On Overwatch. I see everything. They will come to us. I would expect they are over here. Slowly coming over. Overwatching, crash moves and reloads, can't uh, mention how important reloading is, can't stress that enough. Make sure that you're regularly reloading. And our job is to spot out where that last pack is hiding. There's an alien patrol nearby. Viper plus stun lancer plus normal trooper. Okay, cool. Well. Position confirmed. That is very much doable. Moving in. Uh, that would be flanking. Yeah, I think we will need to deal with half cover here. Unfortunate, but can't really change that. Good. Apparently, they don't feel like moving in. On my way. Which I don't mind. Uh, they can stay there for a bit longer. There now. Gives us time to regroup and really move in. Very interesting. Moving to position. 
Look, I mean, we could hit all three, and that actually wouldn't be the worst pull ever. This is clear. It's not going to pull. This is good as well. Good, next turn we're going to start engaging them. And they knew that, that their time was up. They just knew it. Very nice hit. Good effing job. All right, aggressively moving in. Can always use combat protocol to actually kill her. You know what, why not, it's the last pack. Might as well save us the hassle of seeing her dodge. Absolutely. Moving up. And there is the good old shotgun to the face te uh, technique. Tried and true. Always works like a charm. So, we got a successful UFO downed. And besides that uh, one little oopsie, of staying too close to the exploding purifier. We were actually good. No shot taken. Pretty straightforward. Shredder is good. That uh, should uh, continue. Demolition uh, is better than suppression in my perspective. Uh, I don't know. Haywire protocol not good, uh, not better than Revival Protocol. It's fine, but this guy definitely needs a training center and Medical Protocol and Revival Protocol. Might as well give him Field Medic now. And unfortunately Crash will be out of uh, business for 23 days. We got two Alarium cores and a bunch of supplies so that's not looking bad at all what did uh, mm, tapcat do clearing did a power relay uh, start a shadow keeper that's a smart idea sharpshooter training are you sure about that i thought we had quite a few sharpshooters Well, I mean, I can see where he's coming from. I can see where he's coming from. I potentially would have gone for a uh, ranger, but okay. Ghost weapons, yep, that makes sense. I mean, the campaign is slowly but st uh, steadily getting back on track. What do we have as options? Resistance contacts, good. Power also not bad. Supplies certainly the worst of the three. So we're going to go with resistance contacts. You want to expand and you want to expand fast. Good, we got the Shadow Keeper. That's good. Well done. And he also queued up the Hunter's X. Okay. That's not bad. I think Skullcheck could be queued up. And we would have enough to create a spark. <clears throat> but hey, Commander. we also would need to upgrade weapons and armor. <clears throat> Mm 
armor in particular. I would say having that enhanced uh, Shadow Keeper is worth a lot. So I will definitely go for that. And more generally speaking, having pistol upgrades is fine as well. I think Dad would have been proud of what we're doing here. For the first time in a long time, we're actually... Hmm. Do we want to go for a spark? It's not a bad investment. Uh, it is fun to play with one. You know what? Maybe I surprise him instead of that hunter's axe if we can get the spark going. There you go. Then all of a sudden, uh, Tapcat will be like, wow, why do you have... How did you build a spark that fast, Saiken? Well, I prioritized it. All right, resistance contacts. We could use some more intel to actually expand. How's our power reserve looking? Power is at the absolute maximum. You're not getting uh, Avenger power that often and it could actually help you uh, to postpone a generator build. Our people seem to work well together, Commander. Modular assault rifles, that's great. So what do we want to do here? All resources are doubled. Bond level increase. Or do we want to go for... Well, another faction soldier might not be a bad idea. So if I was to use any sergeant... What do we have a lot of? Funnily enough, sharpshooters. Two tap. And... Angus Murphy. Yeah, let's get the skirmisher. And we had our promotion here. Death from above. Okay, so that's a sniper. Face off still better. And you should always get lightning hands. But okay. Has uh, miss skilled a little bit. Maximum power consumption reached. We need power. Power relay is already being built. So we're just waiting uh, for that. Okay, cool. Reached. Let's start to excavate down there. Just double checking something real quick. Covert action, yes. Ah, the building time. If I wouldn't be so hyped uh, to see a spark in action. I would potentially draw the guy off of that building queue. Commander, we want to set back the aliens' work on the Avatar project. We should hit one of their facilities as soon as possible. Priority message coming through, Commander. Putting it on screen now. Oh wow! Immune to melee damage. Uh, that stings. But we're still very early in the process. I would say. Since it's not permanent dark events, it really doesn't matter that much. Elsewise, this year is okay. Yeah, both are not that great, but you can live with both. Shredding is okay. And we need to in increase our influence. That becomes quite clear. The outcome of this research can only further our advances, Commander. Modular assault rifles, and we have a couple of instance no autopsies. One, which is the battle scanner. I like that. The advent. 
And another one, which is a melee weapon upgrade. Not bad either. I think we're going into hybrid materials for our armor upgrade now. Weapon upgrades. Now we're missing the alloys. Well, Saiken, you should have been a bit more mindful with the alloys. Because a good sniper upgrade or a, a mech cannon upgrade have, would have been better than the spark. But such is life where we are going to continue with our spark. Because I like sparks and I actually think it would be equally helpful over time when it's leveled up. Hybrid materials are done, which gets us to plated armor, which yet again does not have enough alloys. Hmm. You know, there is a cost to everything. And I'm wondering... We could do that and use the intel in order to make contact. I, I think that's not a bad idea. Priority. I'm wondering if the costs for the spark are growing um, disproportionately high. Hmm. No, we're continuing with it. Armor will have to wait just a little bit longer. We will get uh, we will get alloys, don't worry. Look at that, I mean, there's already Intel here and the scientist. It is a rescue the VIP mission. And I know that I've, before we're uh, prepping this here for Tapcat, I know that I've also uh, have a chance to upgrade the squad size. We're not using that shot, that uh, we're, we're retaining some more of our supplies. So now we do have six potential people in Setting course for West Asia. in our uh, in our team. That's by the way the wrong uh, the wrong location. There we go. Now what am I going to prepare for him? We got a Templar, we don't want to use a Reaper, a Reaper is good for certain missions and you know what, actually the Reaper would need some leveling. Oh, we got the Spark, <laughs> oh, we finalized the Spark which is great. Um, let's customize that, uh, the Spark is called... Uh, take and last name that okay cool Uh, do we have a scope? Yes, we will need that. Because these weapons are notoriously bad at hitting. Sparks in general aren't the best to hit something. Um, how about leaving you an acid grenade? Sounds like a plan. Now. What do I want his team to look like when he's now going to uh, free to free the VIP? How about we're playing a bit more aggressive this time? We're going in with a ranger. Then, just for the sake of uh, fun, what's uh, their bond made? Svetlana. Okay, well, Svetlana's on board. 
Welcome. Gets the light machine gun. Get some big fat tracer rounds and a frag grenade. That sounds like a plan to me. We take the traditional uh, sword here. Augmented gun. And maybe a smoke grenade. Haven't, see, haven't uh, seen him use uh, that. So this is a very aggressive front line. Uh, now we could just go with um, a with a back line, specialist plus a sharpshooter. That would be kind of the classical setup, right? Or alternatively. The specialist here has Leah as a bond mate. Who's Leah? Lieutenant Lieutenant Leah. Oh, that's the bond mate of the Templar. Okay, never mind. Well, in that case, specialist makes sense. Also has the weapon upgrade. Set the specialist uh, with the combat protocol. Uh, yeah, the guy has unfortunately skilled combat protocol, and I cannot stress how not good that is compared to healing protocol, specifically medical protocol, specifically if you're struggling in the early game. Um, good. I don't want to go with a sniper uh, because that would be too much of a standard team. Let's just go with a second Grenadier. That gives us plenty of shredding. We do have all of the tools available and Tapcat will find it funny, hopefully, to explode everything. This is just explosion over explosion over explosion and we even got some shredding here. So, that is that. I will send uh, this file back to him to see what he thinks and we're going to take it from there. Thank you so much for watching and uh, see you in the next episode. Bye bye.